Guys, what is a content ID claim? Find out in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube, Dave here with Scene Through Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. If you haven't stopped by here before, please be sure to click on that subscribe button and please click on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, YouTube can be pretty painful. Um, what is a content ID claim? Well, in its simplest form, a content ID claim is where you use a song, perhaps, in one of your videos, and either the YouTube technology that runs in the background, uh, this is no good because I've got a steering wheel in the way. Never thought of that. I am hands-free though, so look. Um, yeah, anyway, so <laughs> let's get back to my face. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Never really thought this through, did I? The whole mounting the phone where the steering wheel is. Ah, never mind. I'll be kind of going in a straight line very shortly. Okay, so I'm back. So, what is a content ID claim? Sorry cracking myself up here. What is a content ID claim? Right, so in its simplest form, a content ID claim is when you use a song in one of your videos that an artist or a record company or a publisher or whatever decide that they've got claim to that track and you don't have permission to use it. So YouTube have got some technology that runs in the background checking all of this stuff. Um, I also believe that content companies also check. But I think it's mainly YouTube and their technology that's automatically trying to find this stuff. And sometimes I feel they get it wrong. So I uploaded a video very recently. I've put a card up here. You can check it out. It's on the DJI Osmo Pocket and the Osmo Action. And it's kind of like a comparison on both of them. And for about 40 seconds, I used a track which I, Part, as part of my subscription got from Epidemic Audio. Now, Epidemic Audio are a very, very popular music database library, if you will, for uh, YouTubers and content creators to download tracks. And they've all been licensed as per the Epidemic Sound Audio license scheme. And if you subscribe to that and you've got an active subscription, you have got a license to use that track. However, YouTube, gave me a content ID reprimand, not a copyright strike. I think that comes next if you don't do anything about it. But I've tried to raise a dispute, but every time I click on dispute, it doesn't work. It says you cannot raise a dispute. So at the moment, I'm kind of uh, communicating via email and that's no easy task to see if I can get this content ID claim removed. Because, as far as I'm concerned, and as far as Epidemic Audio are concerned, that track has been legitimately licensed. So guys, YouTube can be painful because there's a lot of automation running in the background that is kind of figuring stuff out, and sometimes it kind of gets it wrong. So, this is my little two minute gripe on, you know, the automated facilities, the automated technology running in the background figuring out stuff that isn't always correct. I'm interlocked with YouTube via email. Hopefully they're gonna get back to me soon and hopefully I'm gonna get this matter resolved and I will come back to you and let you know how that went. But for now guys, thanks ever so much for watching. I'm Dave with Seeing Through a Lens. If you've got any comments, questions, if this has happened before, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Until then guys, I will see you the next time. Bye for now.